The question about the relationship with wisdom and aging is critical. I mean, as a matter of fact, that's why we started this research on wisdom in the first place. I'm a geriatric psychiatrist, and so I study older people, and we found what I call paradox of aging. As people get older, from 20 onwards, the physical health declines, especially starting around age 40, 50, starts declining. As people get older, they start being more satisfied, more contented. Why? Because that doesn't go with their physical health going down or their social stresses increasing. And that's where I started wondering whether there was wisdom of aging. The concept of wisdom has been around for centuries. It's mainly rooted in religions and philosophy. But in recent decades, it has also become a construct of scientific importance with empirical research being done. And we started our research on wisdom about 15 years ago. We define wisdom as a complex, uniquely human personality trait. It's complex because it has several specific components. And those components are pro-social behaviors like empathy, compassion, altruism. Second component is emotional regulation, control over our emotions. Third is self-reflection, ability to look inwards, understand ourselves, finding out what we did right and wrong and how can we get better. Next one is acceptance of uncertainty and diversity of perspectives. The next one, on the other hand, is decisiveness. While I do have uncertainties, I should also be decisive. I can't be sitting on the fence all the time. And the sixth one is spirituality, which is different from religiosity. Spirituality refers to accepting the fact there is something beyond what we know, what we see, something beyond even humanity. One of the questions that often comes in is, is wisdom same as intelligence? And the answer is resoundingly no. There are some very smart criminals who are called creative psychopaths or sociopaths. They would score very high on IQ tests. And yet they are antisocial, they are hurting other people. That's not wisdom. So you can be smart, but not be wise. So currently, there are several scales that are used to measure wisdom. We developed a scale here called San Diego Wisdom Scale, or STWISE. The scale is different from others in that it is based partly on neurobiology. We looked at what part of the brain these components were localized. And we found it was the same specific area that seemed to be involved in all of these components, prefrontal cortex and limbic striatum. So it looks like these components that are described actually have a biological basis. So the question is, can we increase wisdom intentionally? So are there studies that show that you can improve wisdom with some intervention. We have a paper that is in press in a major journal that looked at all the published randomized control trials that sought to increase components of wisdom, specifically compassion and empathy, emotional regulation, and spirituality. The bottom line is that r roughly half of the studies showed that, that the specific components of wisdom can be increased significantly as a result of the intervention. And the interventions in most cases are psychosocial or behavioral. So I believe that it is possible to increase at least components of wisdom, but you need to make an effort and it needs to be a sustained effort. But if you do that, you're likely to succeed.